Good evening, Cardinal fans, and welcome to the Martin County High School Gymnasium as the Martin County Cardinals take on the Belfry Pirates. This is Dennison Davis. And this is Garrett Alley, and we will be your commentators for the night's game. Our coordinator of technology for tonight's game is Paige Maynard. The MCHS Journalism Class and Cardinal Broadcasting Network is working very hard to produce each sporting event but would like to begin by recognizing a few people without whom this broadcast would not be possible. We would like to thank our journalism supervisor, Ms. Marcy Hansen, Assistant Lance Tackett, Superintendent Larry James, the Martin County Board of Education, Principal Martha Williams, Athletic Director Chuck White, and MCHS Director of Technology, Josh Warren. Now let's meet your starting lineup for the Belfry Pirates. They are coached by Michael Haggy. And number five, Chase Varney. Number one, Eric Daniels. Number zero, Cody Erwin. Number 21, Noah Brown. And number three, Jonathan Banks. And now for your home team, Martin County Cardinals. Starting tonight is number one, Dre Duff. Number two, Luke Hell. Number three, Braden McKenzie. Number 20, Jacob Sturgill. And rounding out the starting five is number 34, Matthew Limble. The head coach for the Cardinals is Jason James. Assistants are Jared Crum, P.J. Harris, Wes Hager, and Josh Pennants. Your officials for the night's games are Davey Fields, Jeff Lovely, and finally, Reggie Gravely. The scorekeeper for tonight's game is Elbert Osborne. The timekeeper is Kevin Diles, and the game announcer is Jack Ward. And let's give a shout-out to our hard-working Cardinal parents who are selling concessions and to the unbelievable MCHS custodial staff what will we do without all this amazing support i have no idea as a reminder commentators and technology coordinators are all students in the martin county high school journalism class and cardinal broadcasting network and are not professional broadcasters please understand that as students we are continually learning and improving we want to thank you for listening to the martin county high school cardinal broadcasting network and for your unwavering support of cardinal nation Cardinal fans, welcome back to this exciting matchup between the Martin County Cardinals and the Belfry Pirates. Garrett, it should be a great matchup between two good teams tonight. Should be a great matchup. Belfry Pirates come into this game four, four for 13. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to interest me on how they want to come back this season and make it a winning season. It's like Limbo will win the jump ball, and this is Duff with the ball. He swings it over to McKenzie. Gets it into the paint to Sturgill. He loses it off his foot, and it's already a loose ball. Great defense early on by the Belfry Pirates. Here's Irwin with the ball. Looks like he will initiate the offense for the Pirates. 
He'll swing it over to Brown. Up top to Varney. That one goes over to number one, Daniels. He'll dribble around. Gets it to Brown. Over to Varney in the corner. He drives in. And they will say it's out of bounds on the Cardinals. And the Pirates will keep possession. Looks like it's going to be a good defensive game early on in these early minutes of the game. Like you said, the Pirates have had a slow start to start the year off. So you like to see what they have in them tonight and they, if they can bounce back. Here's Daniels with the ball. He'll swing it up top to the point guard, Irwin. Irwin will swing it over to Varney, into the paint to Banks. Banks will look for someone. He gets it back to Varney. Here's Irwin with the ball. Some tight defense from the Cardinals. Here's number one with the ball. He just puts it up. Shot is no good. Rebounded by Duff. Duff gets it up to Hill. The three ball is good. This kid right here, Luke Hill, is just phenomenal. One of the best players in the region, maybe the state. He's a great ball player. Here's Irwin with the ball. Looks like he's barely getting past Duff, but he finally breaks loose. He drives in, almost loses it, but keeps possession. Looks like Braden McKenzie will guard him tight. Here's Daniels with the ball. A little quarter spin move. Gets it over to Brown. He'll shoot his three ball. No good off the front iron. The Pirates are moving the ball early, and that's what you need to do against this Cardinals team. But the Cardinals are also moving the ball, but they've had a few uh, costly turnovers to start the game. Right there's one of them. Here's Irwin with the ball. And, you know, the Cardinals are playing with a lot of confidence tonight coming off the All-A championship. So you'd like for them to keep that energy as they play this game and just not get too ahead of themselves. So. Here's Sturgill with the ball. He passes it up to Duff. Duff gets it over to McKenzie. McKenzie's three. Bang! Duff doing what he does best, assisting his players and making assists and making everyone else better. And we know Duff can score the ball, but he's kind of taking a back seat on the offensive side, and he's more of a playmaker for this playmaker. team. Exactly what this team needs, someone to pass the ball. Here's Brown. He gets it over to Daniels. He drives in. Layup is no good. Good Here's defense Sturge. here by the Cardinals, but the Pirates are doing a good job of driving in and trying to get shots. McKenzie's layup is no good, rebounded by Banks. He passes it over to Irwin. Belfry is yet to get on the scoring board tonight. Let's see what they do on this possession. Here's Irwin gets it into Banks. Back to Irwin up top, guarded tightly. Looks like the Cardinals are in a man-to-man -to, -man to start the game. Here's Banks, he drives in. Layup's no good, rebounded by they will say that is out on the Pirates. Belfry's going to have to do a better job on driving inside it and scoring because if you want to beat this Cardinals team, one thing you have to do is make the shots that you get. Don't try to force anything. Make the shots you have. Because once the, once the Cardinals start moving in transition, it's over. Can't stop them. Here's Hill with the ball. He'll dribble around to the top of the key over to McKenzie. He'll take it another three. Bang! <laughs> Another, Big three ball. Another great shot right there by McKenzie. And McKenzie points over to the Belfry bench after that shot. And that'll be a timeout by Belfry with four minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Your Cardinals lead with a score of 9-0. to zero. And welcome back, fans, to this exciting matchup between the Pirates and the Cardinals. The Cardinals have jumped out to an early 9-0 lead. They've made three three-point shots so far. They're moving the ball, and they're getting shots that are open, not trying to force anything. Garrett, what do you think the Pirates need to do to get back into this game? To be honest, score. That's true. Offense is a big key of the game, and you've got to get some budgets on the board. They say defense wins championships, but can't win games if you don't score. Here's Irwin, he gets it in, but it's stolen by Duff. Will Duff take it all the way? Little Euro, layup no good, rebounded by Banks. Banks gets it over to Irwin. 
Looks like he'll slow it down, draw a double team, gets it in the banks, little mid-range jumper, and that is good. So first bucket of the game. Here's Duff, gets up to McKenzie, his lay is good. And that is what the Cardinals do right there, Derek. Once they're in transition and they're moving fast, that is their style of basketball, and it's hard to stop. And there's so much chemistry between the players out there on the court. It's like they know where every player is going to be moving. And Dre Duff does a, does a great job of getting this offense going. Here's Hell with the ball, gets it over to Duff. Duff gets it into a driving McKenzie over to Linville, little mid-range jumper, and it is good. Great ball movement by the Cardinals in that possession. Linville has seriously upped his game from last year, and he's one of the most vital pieces on this team. And Duff says, give me that right there. Easy layup, and they jump out to a 13-point lead halfway through the first quarter. Daniels gets it over to Irwin. Irwin drives in, little lay. Tough finish. Pirates are doing a, good, a great job on passing the ball here and getting shots. Here's Linville. He shoots it again, and that shot is way off, no good. Here's Irwin with the ball. Yeah, the, uh, the Pirates are getting a lot of open shots. They just have failed to make a lot of them early on. Here's Brown with the ball. He gets it over to Irwin in the paint to Banks. He'll drive in. His layup, no good. But he fights for his own rebound. No good. It looks like there will be a foul on the floor here. That will be on Jacob Sturgeon. That's his first of the game. Pirates will have possession under their goal. Irwin will be the inbounder. Gets it to Banks. Banks will shoot his layup. No good. Rebounded by Sturgill. Looks like we had a sub for the Pirates. Number 23, Caden Barney is checking to the game. Here's Duff with the ball. Gets it over to Sturgill. A little behind the back. He drives in. A little lay. A little strong. No good. Linville fights for the rebound, but it'll go out of bounds. Both the teams so far in these last couple minutes cannot seem to hit a shot so far. It looks like the Cardinals have two uh, substitutes checking in. That'll be Peyton Davis and Blake Maynard getting their first action of the ball game tonight. Here's Irwin with the ball. He'll push it up the court. He drives in. It looks like there was some contact on that, and they would call a foul. We'll see who that is on. That'll be on Peyton Davis. It's his first of the game. Speaking of Peyton Davis, I think he's done a great job this year elevating his game and becoming the sixth man in this rotation. Yeah, he had a great performance against Betsy Lane the other night. Was it 18, 19 points? Yep. Hit some crucial shots to put them up and make sure they sealed the win. It was an all-around great game by Peyton Davis. Here's Irwin with his shot. It is good. Cut the lead to nine. Here's Duff. He'll drive in. Oh, a little nifty crossover. Spin move. The layup is no good. Now say it's out of bounds on Belfry. The Cardinals will keep possession of the basketball. Duff will be the inbounder for the Cardinals. And it looks like he cannot get it in, but they will take a timeout late in this first quarter. I don't know what happened there right there, Dennison. They could not seem to find anyone open, and that's mistakes you cannot allow to happen. Wasting a timeout in, the, in a crucial game is unacceptable. And with two minutes and 16 seconds left in this first quarter, your Cardinals leave the score 15 to 6, and we'll be right back after the timeout. And welcome back, fans. Looks like the start of after this timeout will be a turnover for the Cardinals, and the Pirates will get the ball. Garrett, what have you seen that the Cardinals are doing that has helped them jump out to this early lead tonight? They're hitting shots, and that's number one thing you have to do in the game of basketball. They are hitting their open threes, and they are driving in and making those layups. 
And the Cardinals uh, on the season have been a great three-point shooting team, shooting 38% from the field. Yep. And that is very well. Here's Hale. He'll dish it to Braden McKenzie, and his layup is good. Very good finish by McKenzie there. Here's Irwin with the ball. He'll try to get past Duff. Gets past him. They swing it over to Varney. Varney will take a little mid-range jumper. And that is no good. Rebounded by Banks, and his layup is good. Jonathan Banks has been a great player for the Belfry Pirates, averaging almost 18 points a game. And I haven't watched many of their games, but I would have, have to assume that it comes from shots like that. Yep. He's Bit. a tough player in the paint, getting a lot of rebounds. Being able to drive in, take some punishment, but still be able to make those shots. And there's someone taking punishment right there. Luke Hale is a tough finisher, and he just showed that off. Here's Varney with the ball. He gets it over to Irwin. He'll drive in on Blake Maynard. His layup, no good. Rebounded by Banks, and another layup for Jonathan Banks. Pirates are doing a great job getting these offensive rebounds, which allows them to get second chance points. It looks like right there there'll be a foul on Belfry. We'll see who committed that foul. But that'll be on number 23, Caden Varney. That's his first of the game. Looks like Brady McKenzie will check out of the game. That is Matthew Limble coming back in for him. Here's Duff gets into hell. He'll shoot his three. A little strong on that one. Here's Banks with a rebound. Banks probably already has six or seven rebounds yep. on the night. Like you said earlier, he's a tough player, and that's what you want in your star leader, someone who is tough, able to drive in and get these points. Speaking of Banks, he shoots another lay. It is good. And he is the main part of their offense so far. Yep. Here's Duff with the ball, a little crossover. He gets it up to Peyton Davis. Davis drives in, shoots his mid-range. No good. Another rebound by Banks. Gets into Daniels. With 20 seconds remaining, you'd like to think that Belfry's going to hold for the last possession of the quarter. That's what they should do. They should not allow these Cardinals to get another shot off. Here's Daniels, gets it into Banks. Banks will shoot another layup. And it is good. The Cardinals just cannot stop they him. They cannot the stop tonight. Jonathan Banks right now. And they've cut the lead to five. They're going to have to figure out a solution to that. Coach James wants to drop some defense to stop the Pirates from collapsing in the paint. And in the corner, another rebound by Jonathan Banks. And at the end of the first quarter, your Martin County Cardinals lead with a score of 19 to 14. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back, everyone. At the start of second quarter, it is 19 Cardinals, 14 Belfry Pirates. Now, Dennison, what do you think the Belfry Pirates have to do to take the lead in this game? Well, I think about halfway through that first quarter, they realized that driving to the paint was what's going to work for tonight's game, and I would continue to do that. You missed that one right there, but you're not going to hit all these layups. You missed 100% of the shots you don't take. Here's Duff. He gets it in and Blaine Maynard. And it looks like they'll go for the paint. Just out to hell for a three ball. Bang! A big three coming out of the break for Luke Hale. Another three by Luke Hale right there. One of the best shooters I've ever watched in a game of basketball. I would have to agree with you, Garrett. Here's Irwin. He gets over to Banks. Banks will try to clap back with another three. That is no good. Rebounded by Duff. Duff may be this, one of the smallest players on the court, but he is also the toughest. He's one of the smartest, too. He has, he has one of the best basketball IQs I've ever seen out of a player. He's a great player. It looks like... Have a foul right there. An offensive foul, maybe. Yes, and that is McKenzie checking into the game for Jacob Sturgill. That's his second foul of the game. Looks like there might have been an illegal screen right there. A little confusion on the court. 
Here's Irwin, the inbounder. He gets it into Brown. Brown has a wide open lane if he keeps driving. He looks like he'll slow it down. Gets it over to Varney. Varney drives in. A little mid-range. No good. Rebounded by Hill. Looks like Hill will slow it down. Gets it over to Duff. He swings it over to Davis. This will match up. He'll drive in, back him down, but he gets it back up top to Hill. Little screen by Maynard. Hill's three ball. A little bit off. Rebounded by Maynard. He gets it over to Davis, though. Great hustle play by Blake Maynard. Great hustle. Bang. And, and Hill gets the three ball that he was searching for. Big three by Luke Hill. And what we have a five-point game going to the quarter, and they've already stretched it out to 11. Looks like there will be a foul there on Luke Hill. You still got to love the effort going for the ball, though. Got to love the effort. Cardinals it's, are just doing a little bit of everything tonight. I'd rather see a guy get a foul for giving effort than the guy not giving any effort at all. I'd have to agree with you, Garrett. Here's Irwin with the ball. He gets it into Daniels, gets it over to Brown. Three ball wide open. That is a little strong. Rebounded by Maynard. He gets it up to Duff. Duff will search who he's passing to. Here's McKenzie driving. Easy layup and another assist by Dre Dove. It's like Belfry Pirates will take a timeout, and with six minutes remaining in the second quarter, your Cardinals lead with a score of 27 to 14. We will be right back. And welcome back, fans, to this exciting matchup between the Cardinals and the Pirates. Looks like the Cardinals had let the game get a little close, but they're starting to pull away again. They started to jump ahead after the, after the first quarter. That's what they need to do. They do not need to let Belfry believe they can win this game. And Lutell has uh, contributed a lot to this big lead, hitting a few three balls to start out the second quarter. But Belfry will take a three right here, and that is good. Heavily contested. All thanks to great passing by the Belfry Pirates. That was a great shot by Chase Varney. Here's Duff with the ball. It's like he will initiate the offense for the Cardinals. Trying to slow it down a little bit. He gets it over to Maynard. Maynard gets it to Hill. Carlos. Hill drives in. Tough layup by Luke Hill. Cardinals are also dishing out the ball perfectly, being able to make runs to the to the rim. Here's Irwin right here, and he loses the ball, but the Pirates will keep possession. Cardinals are applying heavy pressure on the player who gets the ball. It looks like we have some new substitutes into the game for the Cardinals. That'll be number 21, Devin Maynard, and number 23, Ethan Farrell. We will see what they can do in the ball game tonight. Here's Chase Varney. He drives in, dishes it over to Brown. Gets it up back over to Varney. He'll post up Farrell. Mid-range shot. No good. A little bit strong. But here's Brown. May have been an offensive foul there, but the refs let him play. But they will call it there. May have been a little bit of a makeup call right there, Garrett. Great defense by Ethan Farrell right there to force the missed shot. And even if there wasn't anything there, I think the refs really just awarded the Cardinals for great defense. Yeah. It looks like Maynard will be the inbounder, and Davis will run the offense now that Duff has checked out. Here's Peyton Davis with the ball. He dribbled around to the left wing, gets it over to McKenzie. McKenzie drives in, pull up three ball. Bang! McKenzie's third three of the game. He's on fire right now. And um, if I'm not wrong, he's three for three as well. Yeah. He hasn't missed one yet, knock on wood. Don't want to give him that announcer's jinx. Yeah. Looks like there'll be a foul there on number three, Braden McKenzie. It's his first of the game. Looks like Irwin will be the inbounder for the Pirates. He gets it up top to Brown. Almost loses it, but keeps possession. Here's Varney. Stolen by Devin Maynard. 
He gets it up to Farrell. Farrell almost loses it, but he keeps possession. It's over to Davis. He'll shoot his three in the corner. Bang! Great defense right there by the Cardinals to be able to get that open look for the three. And the Cardinals are lighting it up from, from three tonight, Garrett. Hitting a lot of shots. Here's Irwin with the ball. Can't seem to break the press. Stolen by Farrell. And this game's getting a little physical, Derek. It's a little too physical for my liking. I, I get you want to be a, you want to be a physical player, but don't take it too far. Control your emotions. Looks like the Belfry Pirates will have some substitutions coming in. We have number one, Eric Daniels, checking back in. And number 15, Caleb Hensley, getting his first minute to the ballgame. You know, the Cardinals have stretched this game to a 17-point lead now. And here's Farrell with the ball. He'll shoot his shot. No good. Rebounded by the Pirates. But, Derek, what do you think they need to do to kind of cut this lead down a little bit more? Um, they need to apply more pressure on these Cardinals when they're on offense. They also need to make their shot. That is one thing they've not been able to do. And there's another turnover by the Cardinals. Here's Daniels with the ball. He'll take it all the way. A little fake pass, and his layup is good. That great, was a tough move. Great move by Daniels right there. That was a tough move coming straight off the bench. you think he'd be a little cold, but he came in firing. Here's Farrell. He gets over to Maynard. Over to Blake Maynard. Blake Maynard will drive in. Layup, no good. I thought it will be rebounded by Maynard. But eventually they will step out of bounds, and it will be Pirates basketball. Costly turnover right there by the Cardinals. An opportunity to further stretch out this lead. It looks like Caden Varney is checking back into the game for the Pirates, replacing Noah Brown. Here's Daniels, gets it over to Irwin. Irwin drives in, and they will call a foul on the play. We will see who that foul is on. And that is on Devin Maynard. It's his first of the game. I didn't see much contact there, but... I don't know what the rest were looking at, but I did not see too that much calm. And there's Banks getting back started in the paint. And that's what the Pirates need to do, Jerry. It, it is working every time Banks touches the ball in the paint. He is scoring the basketball. I believe Banks has 16 of their 23 points. He's absolutely killing it tonight, and that's what, what, is, that's what you want to see out of your star player. I would have to agree with you, and it looks like two of the – Cardinal starters are checking back to the game, and that'll be Luke Hell and Dre Duff, replacing Peyton Davis and Blake Maynard. And both people coming out have given the Cardinals good minutes so far tonight. That shot is no good. Rebounded by Irwin. He pushes it up to Daniels. Behind the back, almost loses it. And they say the ball was tipped there. It would have been a travel otherwise. And this tenacious defense is killing the Pirates so far. They've not been able to move the ball up the court cleanly and that's something you don't want as the Belfry Pirates. And it looks like they will take a timeout. We'll be right back after the break. And a welcome back, fans, to this matchup between the Cardinals and the Pirates. The Cardinals now have an 11-point lead. And we'll see what the Pirates can do to cut this deficit. Pirates are doing a great job on keeping this game manageable. Here's Daniels. He'll drive in. Oh, great pass to Varney. Great, great pass right there. That is NBA-level passing right there. That was a great pass. That set up a great layup. And here's McKenzie. His three. And it is he is unstoppable tonight. I didn't know he's at Wendy's, but give me a four for four for Braden McKenzie. Give me that faux, faux, faux for Braden McKenzie from three ball. And he's making sure the Pirates know that he's feeling it tonight. He, he was feeling it against Betsy Lane, dropping, I believe, over 20 points. Here's Daniels. He'll drive it in. Almost loses it. But he does lose it to Duff. Duff will throw the lob to hell. His layup, no good, but McKenzie with the putback layup. 
McKenzie came to play tonight. He Great. probably has at least 15 already on the day. Yeah. He has continued to be hot since they're all at And Irwin gets his shot rejected by Devin Maynard, and the Cardinals will get possession of the ball. Devin Maynard's also another player I want to see more out of. I believe he can be a star for this Cardinals team. And he's just now a freshman. Just now a freshman. So he's going to keep getting better. Here is Duff with the ball. Cardinals starting to pull away a little bit. Gets it over to Farrell. He gets into Hill. Hill will shoot a deep three. A little bit strong, no good. Rebounded by Brown. He gets it over to Banks. And here is Irwin with the ball. See if they can break this tight defense by Duff on Irwin. Irwin, he'll drive in, gets it over to Brown. Such like we'll a foul on the floor. May have bailed the Cardinals out a little bit right there. Great way by Irwin right there to get past the tenacious defense of Duff right there and be able to draw a foul. And I think that's the game plan for the Pirates. They're trying to drive in and collapse the defense on them. And if that layup's there, they're going to take it. But if it's not, they'll dish out for a three. Yep. And if they can hit these shots, they can make this manageable. They can make this game manageable, or they might even get the lead. Irwin with the bonus. His first shot is good. Looks like Chase Varney will check back into the game for Tatum Varney. We are awaiting the second shot. Here's Irwin. Shot is up. It rolls around the rim, but it is good. And it looks like Irwin will be checked out of the game for maybe the first time tonight for Tatum Varney. Irwin has played a great game so far, especially with his passing abilities. Here's Duff with the ball for the Cardinals. He gets it over to Hill. Hill will drive in a pull-up midi. No good. Rebounded by Banks. He gets it over to Daniels. Looks like Daniels will now lead the offense for the Pirates with Irwin checking out. Here's Daniels, he'll drive in, get a screen by Banks. There will be a foul on the floor against the Cardinals right there. That's on Ethan Farrell, his first of the game. Farrell playing a little physical right here, but that is something you want against one of these better programs and in a close game. And here is Daniels, he'll shoot the bonus, the one and one. First shot is up. It is good. And the Pirates are cashing out on the free throw line tonight, Derek. I don't believe they missed one, have they? Not that I can recall. They're shooting very well. Here's the second shot. It is good. Maynard will inbound the ball to Duff. Duff will push it up. That's one thing about Duff. He plays with a lot of speed out there. He's probably the fastest guy on the court. It's hard to keep up with Duff on the court. Here's McKenzie. He'll drive in, get it to Hill. He'll take another three ball. Bang! Some great ball movement leads to a great shot by Luke Hill. Like you said, great passing leads to a great look that a great player can make his shot. Yes, sir. Here is Daniels with the ball. He'll drive in. Great pass, gets it to Banks. Banks' shot is no good. That's rebounded by Varney and another block by Devin Maynard. Making an impact on the ball game tonight. Devin Maynard playing great defense right now has two blocks, but he seems to be injured. Looks like they will sub him out for Blake Maynard. Here's Noah Brown, the inbounder gets it over to Irwin, who has checked back into the game. Here's Brown gets it in the paint to Banks. And there'll be a foul there. The fans thought it was clean, but the refs did not agree. And it looks like Banks will shoot two free throws. The Pirates have, as of right now, has taken advantage of these free throws. And the first shot is up. It is good. Again, hasn't missed, they haven't missed one since I can remember. I think the Cardinals are thinking they're well ahead in this game, but the Pirates are just staying right there, ready to creep back up on them. And the second shot is good as well. Here's Davis with the ball, he gets it to Duff. Duff will set up the offense, he drives in, little spin move, and a nice great, layup. Great moves right there by Duff leading to the score. He put the spin on the layup and he knew that ball was falling in. Put him in the laundromat. Here's Daniels, 
cookies from Lutell, but it looks like he will step out of bounds. You got to love the defense by hell, though, on that play. Love the defense. Love the hustle to try to get the ball from being out of bounds. And it looks like Daniels will inbound for the Pirates. Can't seem to find anyone, but he finally gets into Irwin. Irwin will post up Duff, and he is fouled again. That foul will go on Dre Duff. I think it might be his first of the game. Belford's going to have another opportunity to get these free points that the Cardinals are just awarding them. And I think uh, they're getting these uh, fouls and easy buckets in the paint because Sturgill was out of the game for the Cardinals in some early foul trouble. Sturgill is a huge part of this Cardinals team. He plays great uh, interior defense, and with him being out, the uh, Pirates are exploiting this and getting some easy buckets. Here's Davis with the ball. He gets it to Duff. Duff will push it up the court with 30 five seconds remaining in this first half of basketball. Here's Maynard, gets it to Hill. Hill will put his shot up and one. Great finish by Luke Hill. Great basketball out there by Luke Hill that led him to get that and one. Looks like that foul will go on number zero, Irwin. That is his first foul of the game. I believe these are the first free throws for this Cardinals team. I'm pretty sure. We'll see right here if they can cash out on this opportunity. The shot is good. That's one thing about Luke Hale. He makes his free throws. He makes the shots that he's able to get. Pirates will inbound it. Gets it into Irwin. Irwin will push it up like he has been all game. He'll drive in. Layup no good. Rebounded by Banks. Another rebound right there by Jonathan Banks. That's his game, Derek. He's not going to make any flashy moves up top. No threes, really. He's just a tough player, back to the basket big. Good, reliable player. And here's Duff right here. He wants a little isolation, drives in, gets it out to Davis. May have walked there, but they let him play. And here's Irwin with the ball with three seconds remaining. He Half-court heave. It's no good. And at the end of the first half, the Cardinals lead with a score of 47 to 35. We'll be right back after the half. County Cardinals and the Belfry Pirates. Starting this second half, your Cardinals lead with a score of 47 to 35. Garrett, what do you think needs to be done for the uh, Pirates to get back into this game? I think they need to stop the Cardinals' key players, including Dre Duff, Braden McKenzie, and Luke Hale. That's a tall task, but it needs to be done if you want to win this game. I think they need to continue pushing the ball in the paint as well, Garrett, because it's working. It's working. That's how they made every one of their shots, I believe. Most of them. Here's Duff. He gets it to McKenzie in the paint to Sturgill. Sturgill. Ooh, a little offensive foul on Sturgill, and he did not like that call. 
questionable call in my opinion. I think he was just playing physical basketball. That's his third foul of the game. He's obviously frustrated out there. Here's Irwin with the ball. He gets it over to Varney. This is what he's great at. Cuts the lead to 10, but here's Hills three, a little off. Maynard with the rebound. His layup, no good. Puts it back up. Blake Maynard. Good. Blake Maynard right there with the effort to get two chances to put points up on the board. And that is what you want to see out of a great play. Here's Daniels with the ball. He gets it over to Irwin. They got to break it past half court. Irwin loses the ball. Here's Hale driving in. Will we see a little jam? Just a little lay, but the layup. Great defense, good. great defense right there by the Cardinals, applying pressure and getting the turnover. You know what they say, great defense, at least a great offense. Here's Daniels <laughs> with the ball. Here's Brown, he swings it over to Varney. They swing it over to Irwin. His three, way strong and the shot is no good. Here's Hill with the ball, pushed up to McKenzie. McKenzie will take his three, that is no good. Rebounded by Daniels, he'll push the ball up the court. Stolen by Duff. A little behind the back gets into McKenzie. McKenzie's layup is good. What a great game right here by McKenzie. And you got to love the defense, the ball movement, and the tough finish by Braden McKenzie. Here's Belfry with the ball. Here's Brown. Brown will shoot his three. No good. Rebounded by Blake Maynard. He gets it up to Duff. Blake Maynard with three rebounds in just the first two minutes of this and quarter. The step back three is no good. Rebounded by Varney. Barney with a little euro. That was clean. And right here. Three is no good. Here's McKenzie. He gets it over to Duff. Duff gets over to Maynard. Maynard loses it. But his layup, no good. And that is going to be out on Maynard. And you got to hit that layup right you there. you got to hit wide open layup. You cannot afford to miss those. And they have a comfortable lead right now. That could come back to bottom in the end. Here's Irwin. He gets over to Brown. Back to Irwin. Irwin will drive in. Gets over to Varney. Varney drives in. Little pull-up jumper. Dagger right there by Varney. That's a great shot. That's something, they're, that's something they're going to need to do to be able to come back and win this basketball game. Here's Duff. He'll try to drive it in. Nothing going for him there. Here's McKenzie. McKenzie will drive in as well. Shot is blocked by Banks. Banks is just having his night. And although the Cardinals are up by 12, I feel like they have no momentum going for them right nope. now. No momentum. Looks like that will be poked out of bounds by Sturgill. And the Pirates will keep possession. And checking in for the Pirates. It's number 23, Caden Varney, who will replace number 21, Noah Brown. Here's Irwin with the ball. Gets it into the corner for Daniels. Three ball. And that is strong. Rebounded by Sturgill. Sturgill gets it up to hell. Hale's layup, and that is a great finish by Luke Hale. Cardinals are doing a great job in moving the ball in transition. By Daniels. Just a little short right there by Luke Hale, but I believe he's, he still needs to try to make those shots. But although they're not hitting so far in this quarter, they are getting the open looks that you want. They're going to hit eventually. That's still promising. Here's Varney with the ball. He gets it up top to Irwin, guarded closely. But it looks like the Cardinals have switched into a 2-3 zone to start the second half. Here's Varney with the ball. Here's Banks. And I'm pretty sure they're doing that 2-3 to try to stop the buckets in the paint. Yeah. It's a drive by McKenzie. Looks like that one was a blocking foul. Great, great way for McKenzie right there to be able to drive into the paint and draw that foul. But you still gotta love the effort by Irwin on that play. He's already, he's already drawn one charge this quarter and I don't blame him for trying to take another charging foul. Honestly, that's a 50-50 call right there. Should go either way. Here's McKenzie with one shot is what they're saying. No good. Great effort right there by Luke Hale. Hale gets it out to Duff. Back over to Hale. Gets it into the paint to Blake Maynard. Gets it over to Hale. Hale will drive in over to Maynard. Layup is no good. But Luke Hale will get the put back and one. What what effort right there by Luke Hale. Got the
Welcome back, everyone, to Martin County Cardinals versus the Belfry Pirates. Cardinals are leading 60 to 43 with 325 left in this third quarter. Looks like the Pirates will start moving the ball early out of this timeout. Here is Irwin with the ball at the top of the key. Looks like the Cardinals will stay in this zone. Here is Daniels. He swings it over to Banks. Banks with a little spin move. He will drive in. Little lay. A little floater, actually, but the shot is good. Jonathan Banks is having his way down low tonight. Here's Maynard with another layup, and it's no good once again. Blake Maynard's going to have to start hitting these easy layups if the Cardinals want to retain this lead. And I think he just needs to slow down and realize that. Rebounded by Varney and over to Daniels. He'll get it up to Irwin. Irwin will push it. He drives in the layup, and they've cut this game to 11-point lead for the Cardinals. Hell, let's see if he can add three to that. He cannot off the front iron, but he gets his shot back over to Duff. Duff's first three of the game, no good. Shots cannot seem to fall for the Martin County Cardinals right but now. Blake Maynard finally gets one of his own. It's the little layup. And here's Irwin with the ball. Over to Daniels. Daniels will drive up, gets it to Varney. Varney drives in. Blocked <coughs> by Braden McKenzie. What a defensive player out there by McKenzie. Able to recognize what they were trying to do and then absolutely deny it. Absolutely rejected. Right there by Braden McKenzie. Looks like Sturgill and Blake Maynard will check out for the Cardinals. And that means Devin Maynard and Peyton Davis are checking in. And that'll be Belfry basketball under their own goal. You got to start thinking for the Pirates that every possession is becoming important now. You got to think, but you also do not want to play too fast. You do not want to force the Cardinals to play their style of basketball. You kind of want to, there's no need to rush right now. You still have a minute 30 in the third and a whole other quarter to play basketball. But like you said, every possession matters right now. You can't have any costly turnovers now. You got to make your shots. Looks like Brown will be the inbounder. Noah Brown gets it into Irwin over to Daniels. Here's Daniels gets it over to Brown. Brown gets it back up top to Daniels. And this is becoming a very physical game. Like I said earlier, there's a lot of pushing and shoving. Between very both physical teams. game. But Here's I'm going to wonder if these teams are able to, comp to keep their composure and not let it get too out of hand. Baines with the floater, and he cannot seem to miss tonight. He's on fire right now. If I'm guessing, he probably has 25 right now. At least 25 at minimum. Here's Duff with the ball. He gets it over to Devin Maynard. Gets it over to Peyton Davis. Davis gets it up top to McKenzie. Sizes him up. Here's the three. McKenzie, five for six at the three-point line so far. Great shot. You got to love the confidence, McKenzie. Got to love the confidence. Not afraid to shoot a shot. Number 15 for Belfry. Gets over to Brown. He'll take a three ball of his own, and it is good. What a response right there by Noah Brown. It's a great, great shot. Also a great pass, though, that led to that shot. Here's Duff. He gets it over to McKenzie. McKenzie will shoot another three, and that one's off. Rebounded by Daniels. It's like he's got an open court in front of him. Daniels drives in over to Brown. He'll shoot another three, and that one is off. And it looks like they will call a foul on number 15 on the Pirates. That will be Caleb Hensley. It's his second of the ball game. The Cardinal ball. Here's Duff for the Cardinals. Looks like they'll try to slow it down. They want to get this last shot of the quarter. That's what they need to do. No reason to hurry right here. You're up by 11. Just take your shot and get momentum going into this fourth quarter. And you'd like to think they're drawing something up for Lutel to get a shot. It looks like that's what they're doing. He'll drive in. Layup no good. Rebounded by great, Devin Maynard. Great effort right there by Devin Maynard. Able to get the offensive rebound. And that's a freshman making these important freshman. plays. Freshman playing like a veteran right now. That'll be on Noah Brown's his second of the game. Thought Maynard would get two shots. And it looks like there's some confusion among the referees. It's actually a foul on the floor. I've hit him on the arm. It looks like they'll take it in under their goal with three seconds to get a shot off. Here's Davis. He loses it. He can't even get the shot up. He throws it up anyways. And that is way short. And at the end of the third quarter, your Cardinals lead 65 to 54. We'll be right back after the break.
and welcome back, fans, to this final quarter of this exciting matchup between the Martin County Cardinals and the Belfie Pirates. Cardinals have an 11-point lead going to this quarter. I've asked you this question multiple times, but coming down to the final stretch, what do you think needs to be done for the Pirates to fight back and eventually get a lead? I think the Pirates need to play in their strength. They need to drive down low, get the ball to Jonathan Banks, and let him do his magic. And it looks like he tried to do it. He misses it early on. Here's Irwin, and Irwin will be fouled. I'm thinking that one's on Luke Hale. That's his second of the ball game. And exactly like you said, that's what the Pirates just tried to do, drive in. Now they'll inbound it. Gets it over to Brown. Brown gets it up top to Banks. Swings it over to Varney. Over to Irwin. Great ball movement by the Pirates. Over to Daniels. Drives in. Shot fake. Over to Banks. Floater. And he's good. And that is his game, folks. He cannot miss tonight. Cannot miss from inside. Here's Maynard driving in. He's also Guarded playing closely. great defense, too, down low. He's controlling the interior tonight. Here's McKenzie. McKenzie will drive in. And there'll be an offensive foul there on Braden McKenzie. Might have been a questionable call there. The fans seem to not like that one. I won't agree with the fans right here, Dennison. I think that was a questionable call. I think he might have just slipped. There was obviously some contact, but I don't know if it was a flop. It could have been pushed down. You never know out there. Never know. Here's Noah Brown with the ball. Gets it over to Irwin. And they've cut it down to single digits. So Irwin will drive in, gets it over to Varney. Varney drives in. Tough defense by Dre Duff. Here's Daniels, gets it up to Irwin. Over to Brown. Goes Brown into Varney. Varney loses the ball. Great defense by Devin Maynard on that possession. Here's Duff, gets it to Hill. Hill will shoot a three. That is no good. Rebounded by Brown. And a steal by Luke Hill. Right place, right time right there, Derek. Luke Hill is playing phenomenal like he does every other night. Here's Daniels here. Some tight defense by Peyton Davis. Peyton, Peyton Davis playing aggressive defense, and that's something I love to see personally. Here's Varney, and he loses it again. Duff gets it up to Hell. Hell will shoot another three. No good. Rebounded by McKenzie. Tough board. Rebounded by Maynard now, and he is fouled on his shot. Two offensive re rebounds right there by the Cardinals. And that's something I personally like to see. Teams having great effort, perfect hustle, and all around it leads to shots like this. Free throws. Yeah, the Cardinals demonstrated a lot of toughness on that possession right there, Jared. Looks like Maynard will get two shots. Here's his first. No good. In and out. Looks like Ethan Farrell will check into the game for Luke Hill. you got to think the Cardinals are trying to be safe with their players with the big all-A matchup coming up on Thursday. Trying to make sure they're rested and in good, good health because you wouldn't want to afford – you can't afford one of your plays, players getting hurt in this game. And Devin Maynard got a friendly bounce on that free throw. And here's Varney, swings it over to Banks. Banks will shoot a three. No good. Rebounded by Varney. Varney takes it right back in, almost loses it. His shot in and out. That ball did everything but go in the basket right there. Here's Varney. He'll drive in once again. Pull up. No good. And the both teams are fighting for the ball. Devin Maynard comes up with it. He'll push it up the court. Gets it over to Duff. A lot of contact. And the lob is good by Burden McKenzie. A lot of action going on right there on that possession, Derek. Great playmaking right there by Duff leading to a McKenzie score. Here's an Irwin, tightly guarded by Dre Duff. Looks like there'll be a 10 second violation on the Pirates right there and the Belfry coach is very frustrated with this player. Belfry coach is absolutely livid right now, but there's nothing you can do hardly against a Cardinals defense that is applying that much pressure. Looks like we have a new substitute in for the Belfry Pirates. That'll be number 44, David Haggy. Here's McKenzie, wide open tray ball. No good. Rebounded by Maynard. Put back is good. Devin Maynard has played phenomenal tonight, Derek. He's doing a great job on the boards. That's something you like to see out of one of these. Um, I think he's showing a lot players. of fight. Showing a lot of fight, showing a lot of effort, and that's something you just want to see out of one of these young players because they're your future. Here is Varney with the ball. He'll drive in. He sees a lane. Floater, no good. Put back by 44, and his shot is a little strong. 
Here's Devin Maynard with the ball. Swings it over to McKenzie. McKenzie will drive in, little floater. That is a tough finish by Braden McKenzie. Speaking of great games, McKenzie has played perfect tonight. He is six for eight when it comes to the three-point line, and it's just a great game. Looks like Belfry will take a timeout. With four minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the game, your Cardinals lead by 18. We'll be right back after the break. Just a little too aggressive right there by Peyton Davis. Varney will be the inbounder. He gets in to Irwin, almost stolen. And they're saying out of bounds with the Pirates cheap possession. That call didn't really do much for the game right there. Just really slowed it down more than anything. Yeah. Here's Varney. He'll inbound once again. Gets in to Irwin in the same exact spot. Irwin will drive up, gets it to Varney, over to Banks. I think the Pirates are going to have to start showing up, uh, throwing up some three balls. Yeah. Here's Irwin. I get, I get that the mid-ranges and the layups are working, but you can't come back by just twos. And that was a tough layup right there by Irwin, but Lutell with the wide open three, in and out, rebounded by Banks. That right there could have iced the game, in my opinion. It looks like there will be another foul on Peyton Davis. That'd be his third of the game, applying a lot of pressure. I would like to see this game tonight if the Cardinals were hitting all their threes. Yeah. Just, they've had so many open looks. I believe they would have over 100 points, in my opinion. Yes, they've missed a lot of wide open shots tonight. They still have a big lead on the Pirates. Here's Brown with the ball. Gets it over to Varney. Stolen by Luke Let's see a little dunk. Oh! A little slam and jammer by Luke Hill. He got up on that one. I'm going to be honest with you, Dennis, and I didn't know he could jump that high. But we know now, Jerry. We know now. Here's Varney. Blocked by Luke Hale. Rebounded by Farrell. He'll push it up to Hale. Hale will drive in. No look pass to Peyton Davis. Layup's no good, but he puts it right back in for two. He may have not made that first one, but with effort, he was able to get the rebound and make, his, make the next one. Here's Varney with the ball. Poked out of bounds by Duff. The Pirates will keep possession. Looks like we have some substitutes for the Cardinals. That'll be Jacob Sturgill and Blake Maynard checking in for Devin Maynard and Ethan Farrell. Both of them put in great minutes for the Cardinals, especially Devin Maynard. He played phenomenal. As a freshman, he has done absolutely everything you expect out of him. And Farrell has played great defense tonight. Hasn't really made many shots, but he's clamping up on the defensive end. I think Farrell's one of the young, unsung heroes of this Cardinals team. Here's Sturgeon with the ball. He gets up to Hale. Hale's layup is good. Luke Hale has shown up on every side of the court right now. Offense, defense, it don't matter. And it looks like the Cardinals have flipped on that switch in this fourth quarter, and they're pulling away. Here's Irwin. He drives in. Easy layup, but it's no good. Rebounded by Maynard. It's up to Hale. Hale swings over to McKenzie. He'll take another three. In and out. They'll have an offensive foul. That'll be once again on Jacob Sturgill. Sturgill has played a little bit too aggressive in this game. I get you want to play physical, but there's a difference between a great good physical, good physicality and bad physicality. And he's right now is leaning towards the bad physicality. I think he's letting his emotions get to him tonight. He's just got to realize he's a great ball player. He is a great ball he player. He needs to slow down and play his game tonight. And I know he'll do that at the All-A coming up this week. Yep. Here's Hale playing defense. Brown gets the ball. 
Banks with his shot, and that is no good. Might, may have forced that one a little bit. May have forced it, but you need to you need to throw up shots right now for the Pirates. Kenzie's layup no good. Gets over to Maynard. Here's Hill with the ball back up top. Looks like they're going to try to slow it down as we come close to an end of this game. Here's Hill. He'll take a three. No good. Rebounded by Daniels. Daniels gets it up to Varney. Varney's layup. Well, he shoots a floater, and he's fouled on it. That foul will be on Blank Maynard. Good job right there by Varney to be able to um, draw that foul. Varney will get two shots. That is Blake Maynard's second foul of the game. First shot is up. It is no good. A little strong on that one. And you got to make these free throws if you want to even try to crawl your way back in this game. Second shot is up. It is good. Sturgill inbounds it to Davis. Davis will dribble around. He'll throw it off to McKenzie. Never mind, he keeps it himself. Pull up three. No good. Rebounded by Banks. I like that move right there by Peyton Davis. Able to trick his defenders and get a wide open look. Although he didn't hit, it was still a great move. Here's Daniels drives in. His layup. Tough finish. Tough finish. tall defender, Blake Maynard. Here's Braden McKenzie with the ball. Sizing up his guy. Drives in. Little floater. And that is a tough finish by McKenzie. It's like Irwin will get the ball into Daniels. Here's Daniels with the ball. Like he'll take a little pull up three. No good. Rebounded by McKenzie. Poked out of bounds. But they would call a foul on the Pirates. I think both teams are realizing this game's over now. It's it's practically over. The Cardinals have done a great job so far in this game. Here's Farrell with the ball for the Cardinals. He gets it up top to Blake Maynard over to Sturgill. Sturgill will try to drive in. He'll put up a little floater, a little strong on that one, rebounded by Maynard. But it looks like there will be a foul in that play with Varney going to the floor pretty hard on that one. Varney took a hard fall right there on that play, and I'm glad to see he's up, he's up and all right. <laughs> They're going to call that foul on Belfry. So I'd love some substitutions into the game. It's number 25 for Belfry. That'll be Aiden Burke. Davis will inbound it for the Cardinals. It's over to Farrell. Or we'll drill around to the top of the key. It's like he'll slow this one down. It's it over to Peyton Davis. Cardinals are just trying to drain out the clock right now. Davis drives in, a little floater game, a little strong. Rebounded by Sturgill. Put back layup is good. Sturgill once again proving why he's one of the best players on this team because he's do absolutely dominant down in the post. Here's Irwin gets in the banks. Another player that's dominant in the post. Floaters up. No good. Rebounded by Blake Maynard. He'll push it up to Devin Maynard. Devin Maynard will drive in. Loses that one. It'll be a foul on Noah Brown. That's his fourth foul of the game. So, Derek, obviously we've mentioned the All-A game coming up this week for the Cardinals. After watching them perform tonight, how are you feeling about uh, how they'll play this week? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident, but – they're playing a tough Harlan team. I think it's going to be about if Luke Hale, Braden McKenzie, and Dre Duff all hit their shots. Because tonight we've had a lot of open shots. We've hit a lot, but we've also missed a lot of open shots tonight. And missing shots against the tough Harlan team is something you cannot do. I'm sure Coach James will have a good game plan for the Cardinals. We just want to wish them best of luck this week. Coach James always has a great – game plan for these Cardinals, and that's a reason they're 16-2. and two. Sturgill will take the three in and out. Rebounded by Daniels. He'll push it up with 45 seconds remaining. Gets it over to Burke. Burke swings it over to Irwin. Irwin will dribble it around. He drives in. His layup is good. Tough thing about the Belfry Pirates. They're, they have no quit in them. Even that being down this much, they have no signs of showing that slowing they're, down. They're tough finishers, but a finishing team is not a team you want to be when you're down big like this. 
if you're a finishing team, you want to try to keep it close and play a physical game. And it looks like the Cardinals will dribble it out to end this game. And as the clock expires, we'll have a final score of 86 to 63. Overall, just a great performance by the Cardinals tonight. Something you want to see heading into a tough game against Harlem. And this is Dennison Davis. And this is Garrett Alley. Signing off. 86.